Let us understand principal components analysis. Principal component analysis is used to identify a smaller number of uncorrelated variables called principal components from a larger number of data set. You can create new variable which is called a principal components that are linear combination of the observed variables from the analysis. So why do you use principal component analysis and what is the purpose? The purpose is to explain the maximum amount of variance with the fewest number of principal components. Okay. So, for example, an analyst use a principal component analysis to analyze customer responses to several characteristics of a new shampoo. How they are responding to the various different characteristics. The analyst wants to determine whether they can form a smallest number of uncorrelated variables that are easier to interpret and analyze than the observed variables that they measured. So, principal components analysis is commonly used as one step in a series of analysis. For example, you can use principal components before you perform a regression analysis in order to avoid multicollinearity or to reduce the number of predictor relative to the number of observations. So, how can we find a principal component analysis with Minitab? Before that, I'll just tell you what are the data you have to consider for doing this principal component analysis. You should have at least two variables, okay? So, you should have at least what? Two variables to perform this principal component analysis. So, let us see that we have an example here for the loan, okay? This is a loan applicant data. That is, a bank requires eight pieces of information from loan applicants like income, education level, age, length of the time at current residence, length of the time with current employer, like this. So, a bank administrator wants to analyze this data to determine the best way to group and report it. So, the administrator collects this information from 30 loan applicants. The administrator performs a principal component analysis to reduce the number of variables to make the data easier to analyze. So, the administrator wants enough components to explain 90% of the variation in data. Now, we are going to find the principal component analysis using Minitab. So, where you have to go and check, go to stat and click multivariate and you can go and check principal components so here you need all these components right so you have to find all these components so you can select all these things okay and click select where you can find this okay in the variables okay or else you can even write like c1 to c8 Okay, you can simply write what C1 to C8, even this is also fine. And then finally, you have to click OK. Okay, so here you can see the matrix, which matrix you want, like correlation or covariance. We can just leave it as correlation, click OK. You can find the correlation matrix of the principal component analysis. Okay. So, this is the result which you got. Let us understand, let us, let us interpret the result. Okay. So, the first principal component accounts for 44.3% of total variance. Okay. So, here you can see the total variance here. Okay. This is the variance. Got it. So, the variables that correlate the most with the first principal component that is PC1. Okay, this is PC1. Okay, what is there in your PC1? Wait a minute, I'm just. So, you can see here that in the proportion you can find 0 0.443, okay, which is nearly 44.3. Okay, so with that, we have to check which is somehow relevant to the 44.3. See here, these are all the variables that is PC1. We have 8 column. 
so here you have eight principal components okay which is correlated with all these columns okay income education so income and pc1 so just check what is the value here 0.31 which means 31.4 percentage which is not even nearing 44.3 percentage okay like that we have to check so you can find that in pc1 okay so age which is 0. Point, age which is 0. 0.4 see age is 0. 0.484 which is 48.4 okay and residence is 46.6 employee is 45.9 and savings is 40.4 other than that nothing is nearly equivalent okay in pc1 you can see that okay so the first principal component is positively correlated with all four of these variables so increasing values of age residence employ and savings increases the value of the first principal component and the first four principal components explain 90.7 percentage of the variation in the data Therefore, the administrator decide to use these components to analyze the loan applicant. So, based on what you are going to analyze, like age, residence, employ and savings. Okay, other than that, whatever you see, it will not be directly correlated with that. Okay, either it will be extremely high or it will be extremely low. Got it? So, this is how you can decide. the Based on the principal component, you can decide which variable you can consider. So let us see what are the other possible graph or the visualization which you can do with the principal component analysis. So go to start and click multivariate and click principal component where you can find the option called graph. Okay, so click here graph where you have few types of graph. One is outlier plot, by plot, loading plot for first two components, score plot for the first two components, scree plot okay so i'm just giving all these plot and let's see what's happening now click ok and click ok okay let's see what type of chart it is generating i think it's been generated in the output pane so we can scroll this is the outlier plot okay and this is a scree plot of income and this is a score plot for of income to credit cards okay so it is considering all the components and this is a loading plot of income okay and this is the buy plot of income so all these plot has created so if you want only for the few plot for example since we have found that age residence employ and savings are the important uh, component right so we can just go ahead with that okay i'm just selecting i want from c3 to um, c5 okay so i'm giving c3 to c5 and graphs and if i'm selecting only few graphs and i'm clicking okay then you can find that for these graphs you have it has generated okay h employ okay that three age um, residence and employee even here you can find that only for that it has generated okay but usually we will not uh, select only few attributes for the principal component because we need all the attributes to find which is a key attribute okay mm -hmm.